Hi guys, it's Sam. I am going to be doing a video on the Maybelline Color Blur by Lip Studio Cream Matte Pencil and Smudger. I think I got it all. It's the lip products that look like these. They're basically jumbo lip pencils with a smudger at the top. So the product comes out of here and then on this end is the smudger. So what you're supposed to do with the smudger is you put a little bit of the color in between in between your lips. Uh, yeah, in the middle of your lips and then you smudge it out to get an ombre effect. I've done that with other lip products but not specifically this one. I just feel like um, that's a special thing to do and not something that I do every day. But there is the option if you want to use the smudger. And I got, there's 10 out right now. I got all of mine at Target for about 7 bucks, and you'll find that that's... A pretty consistent price and I'll get my review out of the way real quick I love these I think they are fantastic and I feel like this is a pretty good color range right now but I'm hoping that Maybelline adds to the line and adds even uh, more color and limited edition stuff I really really like these I will okay so what, what do I like about these? I like the formula the best. I think these are so smooth, so buttery. You know that's our favorite word in the YouTube beauty community. Uh, it's just, it's. I love the formula. I love the ease of application. And I just, they feel so good on the lips. I feel like they're moisturizing, which is a surprise to say about matte lip pencils or lip products in general and this is going to be the only downside you would think because it's matte it would last longer but unfortunately these do not last long but i will forgive that because of the colors the ease of application and just how creamy they are they're just so creamy there's no words to describe it i i mean i was a little disappointed with the how long they lasted it, your the lips lipsticks will trans the lip color will transfer onto whatever you're drinking eating they don't last on the lips but if you're just not doing that kind of stuff then it'll be fine and what made my lip application last a little bit longer was i'll put some on blot my lips and then do it again and that's what i've done with other matte lip products in the past um just to make them last a little bit longer and that really helps so i don't mind that these don't last i don't mind reapplying it because the formula is so nice and let's talk about the colors so i'm gonna go from lightest to darkest and i will point out the one that i'm wearing on my lips and also the ones that i would recommend that you get and the couple that i probably wouldn't so the first one here is your 90s lip this is the number 50 i like to mob it and here's the color out of the tube here and there's the swatch of it and I'm not swatching it on my lips first off I tried and it was just a major disaster um one of the reasons is I my camera is not the greatest and I know that's not really an excuse but I feel like the swatches look better on my hand so that's what we're going with so here is I'm I like to mob it and that's just a classic everyday lip and it's really really nice oh I'm so descriptive right guys really really nice <sighs> next is I'm blushing and this is a great color I'm just laughing at myself so here is sort of like a dusty rose color and this is also great for everyday if you don't like this type of pale pink lipstick then I would say go for this one this is just amazing and I feel like it makes your lips look like not your lips but just your whole self look a little bit younger I feel like the colors that Maybelline chose to come out with in this line is very I want to say forgiving I don't find that my the lipstick goes out of my lip line or anything like that and the colors are just make you look young okay here is one of the colors that I would not recommend but that's just because for me personally, I don't think this color looks right on me. It's the Barbie pink color. It's called Pink Insanity, and it is Pink Insanity. So here's the color, and then there's the swatch. If you like hot pink, I feel like a lot of the other hot pinks that I've tried are very drying, and this one is, you know, because it's creamy, I feel like it looks a little bit better, but um, probably one that I would not repurchase in the future. 
next is the one that I'm wearing and I love this color I feel like it's a cross between it's just it's pink but it's such a wearable bright pink I, I love it I would definitely repurchase this uh, this is number 10 fast and fuchsia Oop, the wrong side and that is the swatch of it and you can also see it on my lips I just feel like it's an awesome color and I, I would repurchase every one so far except for this hot pink one but this one is just really really pretty okay next is this is another pink one and it's very misbehaved so it's gonna be a little bit richer but still pretty bright so these are for my uh, this is Barbie pink and this would probably be hot pink it's with a, just a deeper tone but it's ugh, love this one as well and I think it's I feel like the pinks are very different I mean it's just they did Maybelline A plus next is number 40 my my magenta and this one is sort of similar to the one that I showed you just showed you but I feel like this has a bit more purple to it while this one has maybe a hint of red in there but this is gorgeous so I would recommend that one as well uh, then we are starting with our reds uh, well this is kind of orange I mean this is orange this is number 20 orange or glad and this is the second one there were two that I wanted to mention that I probably would not repurchase so this is the second one uh, it just I feel like this is not a color again that looks right on me it's very very orange so that is orange or glad right there it's very orange next red is number 25 cherry cherry bang bang and this is what I would classify as classic red it's just a really great red color so there it is right there in the middle and then we have number 30, Partner in Crimson, and this is your darker red. And it's that one right there. Out of the two, I'm kind of leaning towards this one to get. I just feel like it's a more wearable red because it's a little bit duller than the one that I just showed you in the middle there. And then one of my favorites, uh, perfect for fall this is number 35 plum please and this is one of the ones that I had gotten when I first picked up just the two Ugh, beautiful so there you go it's just a really deep red color but still in my opinion wearable because it's uh, not some of these lip products that I have can get really really dark and I feel like this is still wearable so those are my Maybelline color blur by lip studio cream matte pencil and smudger i don't know why i feel like i have to repeat the title again but these are fantastic i love these colors the two that i probably wouldn't get again is this pink insanity and aren't i think it's aren't you glad right uh but the rest i think are really really nice and i would highly recommend them and one last thing before i go is i want to show you how creamy they apply i already did the swatches beforehand so i couldn't show you throughout the video but i'm going to show you now just how creamy they glide out. Look at that. Ugh. Love it. So that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you are all doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.